Hello there guys, it's me and Stable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 23 of Hearts of Iron 4 as the German Reich. We've finally managed to get our tank division over to the British Raj after managing to take out Saudi Arabia and Iraq and Iran. So we've had a clear path now to get our units through. Obviously, uh, British Raj are going to be defending very, very hard. They've also got a lot, or at least they did have a lot, of uh, US troops over there. They're all occupied on the east uh, east border, though, with Japan. So I'm hoping that Japan can um, sort of keep them in check. In the meantime, I'm going to be keeping my eye on the other units that are in training and just try and see everything else that is going on. We are also at war with Estonia. And uh, they're nearly gone, to be quite honest. Um, we just need to tell some of these units to uh, push in here. Because um, I didn't set attack orders all the way across. So we'll move in that way. We'll take out their little islands as well. Hopefully we should be okay here. And then we'll move these guys back and use them for other stuff. You guys can get in over there, actually, and grab that piece of land for us as well. Um, try not to get caught in any little random pockets because that would be bad. If you can move in over here. Obviously that bit will go to the Soviets, but that's fine. I mean, we could potentially ask the Soviets for um, Vidzem. Or Vidzim. Um, Estonia has capitulated. Um, can we just click on it directly? Oh, they've refused. Interesting. Okay. So we are going to have to watch out for um, for Russia. So we'll definitely be keeping some units over on this board. This is another one of the reasons why I'm actually working on some more um, more troops. So we've got a lot over here protecting the borders. Oh wow, um, America are really making a, a huge push over here. Um, that's pretty much being ignored or. They're still just failing to defend this completely. Um, what have we got over here that can deal with this? First reserves are all up there. You guys are there. You guys are all here in the middle. Right, you guys. Get yourself down on this line and use strategic redeployment. Get down there quickly. Let's we'll see if we can go and help out with that before Castile lose... Um, well, for Spain lose all of their lands. Uh, looks like we are still making some progress down here in British Raj. I'm I've told all of my tanks to sort of push up to the river. Um, we should be able to get in here without too much of a problem. There's construction um, done. Uh, let's go straight for construction five. Try and max out all of our construction stuff where we can. And um, I think we're almost ready to attempt to um, do some power drops. Uh, do we have air superiority here yet? No, we do not. Apparently we do have air... No, we're on air superiority. It's kind of up and down and, and all over the place. I mean, we do have a lot of fighters there. I think what we should do as well is um, put this number up to uh, 1,000. It'll let, let us have a thousand there. We've probably got more than that anyway. So what we could probably do is create another air wing of fighters over here. Fighter twos. So let's go ahead and do that one. And we'll set you a limit up to um, a thousand as well. So we'll have a thousand fighters there. And you guys um, can go into the English Channel and you want to be on the same thing. I think we'll have them both on, uh, we'll have one running nights and one running days so they sort of take it in turns I think. And try and keep um, air superiority over here if we can and then we will want naval bombers, but over here I think we'll go and put our transport planes, which we've got plenty of. We will have to start building some naval bombers. We are running short of what now? Uh, 
Uh, rubber from Japan. Yeah, we still have a surplus though at the moment, so I'm not too bothered about that. Uh, how are we doing down here? We have arrived. Uh, you guys were the loner twos, weren't you? Yep. So you're going to have a offensive line um, to the coast, basically. And um, you're just going to fight because we can't. We can't afford to wait. Just sort of push. Hopefully the Cas the uh, Spanish will help you. I keep saying Castilians because I'm so used to playing um, like EU4 and stuff like that. So how are things going on over in British Raj? We does look like we are starting to push forwards. Um, although we do seem to have stopped. So we're having some issues with supply. That's the problem. But if you guys could push, that would be excellent. Don't get backing off. Or is it the other guys that are backing off? You guys should be being aggressive. I mean, I guess we could build some infrastructure here. There's no factories that we can use to reach them. try and move in with everybody where we can. Just need to try and break through into the mountains. I said, with, with all this being mountainous, it's just so hard to actually get into that. We throw, if we can get this port, actually, we'll be okay. Let's get all of these units. Let's get them all down here. And what we'll try and do, if we can is push in to here and take the port. That's that's the plan. It might not go very well, but it, it, it is a plan. It might be a terrible plan, but it is a plan. Got ourselves an ace, ace pilot. Like, let's get everybody in here if, if possible. I understand that the supply is terrible, but if we can get that port, then that'll make life a lot easier for us. So how are things going over in Spain? We are actually managing to push those guys back, which is fantastic. And then when that's done, I think I'll actually set those guys up on a defensive line over there. Just to sort of help out with that. So we could try and work on those... Um, we could try and get those paratroopers across. I mean, it is risky. How is the air superiority? It's kind of somewhere in the middle. I mean, it might work. I'd like to get the rest of the paratroopers in if we can. Got some more medium tanks. You guys are all going to go and join the um, the reserve reserves. Um, how are we doing on the additional paratroopers? Because we do have some coming along. Oh, we'll, we'll have some spat out very, very shortly. So that's not too bad. I might not even let them... Um, how are we doing with repairs and stuff? I might not even wait for them to be trained. I might sort of throw them straight in. To make sure we get these military factories all sort of queued up. Infrastructure as well. Because that's getting bombed to balls. We're also getting quite a few submarines now. I mean, we've got one fleet here. We've got um, a couple of battleships. 47 destroyers, 122 subs. So I am building up the navy. I'm not using it for anything at the moment. Because I just want, it, want our navy to recover. Um... Yeah, we should be able to win that battle over there. Back over to uh, British Raj, see what's happening. In fact, before we do that, do we want to continue with this? We don't have carriers. Destroyer sub detection. Um, destroyer organization. We do have destroyers. We probably do want to carry on going down that, that route, if I'm honest. Uh, let's go back here then. So, did we actually manage to make any sort of push into that? No. Now we're all sort of backing off because we, like, are out of supplies and stuff. If you'd all just sort of push in here and get something done. I don't care which direction you come in from, just get in there and do something. There we go. We have our, um, 
bomber, our naval bombers finished. Uh, we should definitely work on some better fighters though. But now we have our naval bombers finished, we're going to go into production. We're going to go to our um, tactical bombers here. Uh, we are going to find our naval bomber, which is here, and create a variant. We don't really need the range. So we want to give it a lot of attack. Some reliability. And uh, that's probably it. Um, so, we get rid of the tactical bomber in favour of the naval bomber. And we are now short of a lot of... Uh, doing alright on weapons. Well, we're not, but... So let's start working on... Um, on those. That should start getting some of them done for us. Uh, we've got a lot of factories that we need to repair. That's the big problem we've got right now. A lot of damaged military factories. So let's put a few more of those to the top. Let's try and get them done as quickly as possible. So we're going to start working on naval bombers. Um, decryption um, done. Let's work on the high level of decryption. I want to know how many units um, are in places like this so that I can deal with them more easily. British Raj are sort of fighting their way into um, Japan. It's a little bit tricky. The problem is I don't really have an easy way to get around them. They're just sort of holding out in the mountains. We could get like a mountaineering division to come in here and try and help with that. Which wouldn't be a terrible idea. We could do with Mountaineer 3s though. Um, we've got quite a bit of manpower. It'll take us forever and a day to get there though. Uh, we now have the better mechanised. Um, so let's go and change you to Mechanised Equipment 2. We don't want to go for three yet. Let's go for the um, anti-tank weapons. Oh, unfortunately, we've lost another uh, another ace. So that's a little bit disappointing. Um, who's landed down there? It looks like um, there are still some pockets of resistance. Right, you guys, just all go in and attack. Wait for a flipping invitation. Just get in and get something done. So I'm still tr trying to decide whether or not this, um, no, not naval, whether this air attack is going to be a good idea. I mean, we do have a lot of fighters, which is nice. Yep, losing more guys again. I think we give it a shot. Oh, we do want to have all the um, the paras in there, though. To be fair, I would like to have a full uh, a full army if possible. We could just get these guys to spit out. What are they actually waiting for? Twenty ninth of August. Yeah, we can wait a few more days for them, and we should then be able to get a, like a full group put together. Ah, here we go. We're actually starting to um, make some progress over here now. So let's get. Get the Americans out. And how are things going over here? We're not really making any progress at all. We're just sort of sitting on these lines. They're sitting in the mountains. We're sitting in the mountains. We've got no supply whatsoever. We can't build anything here. You could try and take Afghanistan so we could go around. And Afghanistan's mostly mountains as well. If we could just break through the mountains, it wouldn't be so bad. But I just don't know how many units they've got there, which is the, the major problem right now. So that's one of the reasons we're working on decryptions, which hopefully we'll be able to see what's around. I'm just ignoring all of these pop-ups about, um, uh, you know, sort of deliveries not being fulfilled at the moment. Because, to be quite honest, you just get sick of dealing with them. I really do. That's the one thing where I think they're really... I mean, it's probably a mod that does it. But it is the one thing where I really think there should be an option to just tick a button and have it automatically managed for you. Because it does seem completely 
pointless. Um, we should have had those paras by now. Apparently we still have not. Um, oh, is it short of equipment? Um, support equipment. That's the problem. You don't have your support equipment. Um, and support equipment is probably really, really behind. It is really, really behind. Let's stick some more factories on it. And now we're not really working on the naval bombers because we're continually losing... We, we need to get rid of Great Britain because we're continually losing um, factories to their bombing efforts. So we need to get a lot of anti-air, one or the other. I mean, I guess we could do that. We could just go absolutely crazy with, with anti-air. Um, but it's very, very expensive to build. I'd prefer just to try and get rid of them if we can. Uh, where did we put our um, transports? They're there in Calais. So, do we still have air superiority? Well, kind of, sort of, ish, almost. Um... Let's instantly deploy four of these guys. Um, they are still a bit green, but that's fine. We'll add them to the paras. So now the paras are a full uh, army. And we will do a um, para drop from Calais. And we'll try and land here between Portsmouth and Dover. I don't really want to try and land um, in Portsmouth or Dover because the problem with doing that is they'll probably be defended because they are ports. So I'd sooner try and get everybody in there and um, move in from one of the adjacent provinces. I think that'll be the best way of doing things. Medium tanks, you're going to go into the reserve reserves and the reserve reserves are now full. So... You will probably be on the uh, Russian, the Soviet line. You'd be spread quite thin if you did, but I think we'll go ahead and give you a front line that sort of goes maybe down to there, and then we'll have a, a another set of reserves that will sort of sit further down. I'm just, I mean, the, the Russians are still friendly at the moment, but I don't know how long that is going to last for. It would really be nice to get some more support down here to fight the British Raj, but we're, we're struggling to try and make any sort of push, uh, really. If we could get down and take Karashi, we'd be so much better off because we wouldn't be suffering the problems with attrition. It's because they're sat in the mountains at the moment, it's making it impossible for us to try and get around them. Japan are having some struggles as well. How are things going on over here? See, yeah, Japan... Are kind of holding their own but it's taking a long time to actually uh, get in there so how are we going with these power drops we must have um oh i need air superiority in southern england as well um so how about you guys then work on southern england now we don't have air superiority in the channel um, but what we need to do is put you guys on um, day and night ops, really. So we've got air superiority in southern England sometimes. We need another wing of fighters. That's the problem. Um, we don't have a lot of spares. Fighter wing. You are going to sort of like be a thousand strong. But yeah, until we can actually... Um, until we can actually get air superiority over here, we're going to struggle. Uh, how are we doing with construction on fighters at the moment? 
because we're still short on quite a lot of factories. We're also short on rubber, which is slowing things down as well. Yeah, we are working on, on fighters. Make sure we keep these... Um, I mean, obviously, I do want to get civilian factories repaired, but I'm also really, really keen to get the military factories repaired as quickly as possible as well. We'd have some decent military factories that aren't going to get bombed by uh, Britain all the time. We might be better off, but... A lot of construction is complete. So I think we'll go in now and start working on excavation just so we can get um, better resource yields. Uh, we are really struggling with getting that rubber. Brazil, send me rubber. I'm, trying, I'm getting about as much of it as I can from everybody. Um, what we're going to have to do, um, the P Pax America... Uh, looking to the conflicts of, uh, looking to the conflicts on the other continents, uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt has announced a new foreign policy program intended to keep the peace at home. Any government on the American continent may appeal to the United States for military protection should they feel threatened by their neighbours. While not a guarantee of any particular state, the desire for peace in America is no longer just a dream, but the official American policy. Okay, that's fair enough. Um... Construction. Let's get some synthetic refineries built. Let's get them sort of built in the middle of our country so that they are quite far away from um, bombing range of both the Soviets and the United Kingdom. And what we're going to do is really, as much as I want those factories, we are going to put some of these to the top. Well, we'll put all of them to the top. Um, we'll mix in a few factories as well. Just because I want to try and get rid of these pro this problem with uh, not having enough uh, rubber and oil and all, all sorts of other stuff. So hopefully that will help. But I think we're going to end things there and hopefully we can make some headway in the next video. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying Hearts of Iron 4. I'll see you on the next video. And until then, goodbye for now.